Thanks for tuning in, and welcome to this week's review of Dale the Movie, a documentary of the life of the late, great Dale Earnhardt. confidence that I was a good race driver. When he put those sunglasses on, he became somebody else. I imagine he was one of us. I'm still down in our I can win a race on Sunday and I can feed the cows on Monday and whatever. It doesn't matter to me. He represented us. He's right there just like us in the ditches. He's a hero. He broke the old man. What's the question? If you get a chance to see this movie, see it. It's well worth the time. Even if you have no idea who Dale Earnhardt is, you can still get a lot of enjoyment out of watching this film. When I think of NASCAR, I think of two names. The King Richard Petty, and of course the Intimidator himself, Dale Earnhardt. I must say right off the top that I'm not a NASCAR watcher. I've only watched maybe a total of about five races. One of those races was the 2001 Daytona 500. I saw the end of the race in the wreck, and I first thought, like many people, that it didn't look catastrophic in nature. So I remember leaving to go to 7-Eleven to pick up some more snacks and drinks, and by the time I came back, they were talking about how bad they were thinking the accident was. And I was in shock thinking of all the accidents I've ever seen on the highlights every week, that this one could be a fatal one. Needless to say, that even though I was not a true NASCAR fan, I knew this was going to be one of the darkest days in NASCAR history. Everyone knew he was a larger-than-life figure that would not be replaced, and he would be missed greatly. I went to see this movie out of my personal respect for the man that I believed him to be. I'd heard enough good things by watching sports over the years to know that he seemed like a good guy as well as a hell of a racer. Watching this documentary film about the man behind the driver was a very entertaining and enlightening look at Dale Earnhardt. I think this is a movie that anyone and everyone could watch and get something different out of it. It is not really as much about racing as it is about the man behind the wheel. I always enjoy seeing real people and what makes them great at what they do. I also hope that they're good people as well. I always hate to have an athlete I like or someone that I'm some sort of fan of and then find out they're great at what they do, but they're not a good person. You want to be able to root for someone and know they're a good guy as well as a good athlete. I just want to say that this documentary was done very well. It is always tough to make this kind of film because of the way his life ended on the track. If this movie is done poorly, it can come across really bad. But fortunately, the right people got behind this project and did the man justice by making a well-thought-out documentary about one of the greatest figures NASCAR will ever have. There are two parts of the movie that really say it all when talking about the man Dale Earnhardt. This is the scene when he won the Daytona 500. He was so close on several occasions, but he never could win it. They say he lost the Daytona 500 every way he can lose it, and finally, on his 20th try, he wins. This is a true sign of respect. All the pit crews, all of them want to congratulate him on finally winning what they call the Super Bowl of NASCAR in his 20th year of trying. This is like every team coming onto the field after the Super Bowl and shaking John Elway's hand after he won. These people just a few minutes ago were his competitors, and now they're shaking his hand and congratulating him on finally winning. This, to me, is the highest compliment a man can receive professionally. The second story was from Brian Williams about when his son met Dale at Talladega Super Speedway in 1999. He said his son asked Dale if he could touch his car, and Dale said, well, Not only can you touch it, but if I win the race, you can join me in victory lane. Well, Dale won the race, and sure enough, Brian Williams and his son Douglas joined them in victory lane. And Dale even let little Douglas hold the trophy when they were taking pictures of the group. And that's what it's all about. Not every athlete could possibly be this fan-friendly, but this kind of person just doesn't come around that often. And when they're gone, his likes may not be seen again. He was one of the last of a dying breed. Rest in peace, Dale.